Good morning, Davao. Good morning, Mindanao. Good morning, North, South, East, and West. This is Gilbert Lopez Marti Cazzo. For the headlines. Weather forecast. Easterly is affecting the rest of Mindanao. Local news. PCD EV's 23rd Annual Conference enhances Philippine Business Education. Sangguni ang pangungsod members urge Farms Co-op to seek accreditation for LGU's loans. Dabo City First Public Internet Center proposed. Dabo Region braces for rains, thunderstorms. National News Philippine National Police recovers two vehicles linked to 1.4 tons Shabu Howl in Pampanga. BI urged to shed light in influx of Chinese students in the Philippines. International news. Hundreds more arrested across U.S. in Gaza campus protesters. Free beers and taxi rides to who voters in India city. Entertainment news. One day author David Nichols on writing the British love story that's lived the world heartbreaking, broken. Pinoy literature takes center stage at Philippine Book Festival. Sports news. Alina Bicar guides Cherry Tigo to Simist. Heat stand top seed Celtics in playoffs. For the features, the stunning Toscan town even Italians don't know. Mega World to build museum in Mactan, Cebu. Side story. And for the trivia, do you know that Dabo City offers a wide range of outdoor activities including hiking, Viking and river tubing. Weather forecast Basilan, Sulu, and Tawi Tawi will have cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms due to intertropical convergence zone. The rest of Mindanao will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms due to easterlies, localized thunderstorms. Light to moderate winds from east to northeast with slight to moderate seas. Local news, an official from the Philippine Council of Deans and Educators in Business, PCD EB, said that the 23rd Annual National Conference will enhance the delivery of business education to students in the country. Dr. Janine Suasato Bitonio, President of PCD EB said during her speech in the Grand Mensing 
Hotel in Davao City on Wednesday, April 24, 2024, that PCDEB aims to provide relevant and contemporary development programs in business education to students. She said, its mission is to continuously create trainings, research, and extensions initiatives to advance professional development programs in teaching business. She said that the conference team embracing educational transformation ecosystem in reshaping modern business education will strengthen collaborating or collaboration among education or educators nationwide and foster positive community change. A Davao City Councilor urged farmers cooperatives to seek accreditation to access loans from the local government unit, LGU, of Davao. Councilor Jonard C. Dayap, chairperson of the cooperative and future generation during the Aprobado sa Consejo Media Forum at the Sangguniang Pangunsod on Tuesday morning, April 23, 2024, said, There are cooperatives here in Dabao that are not members of the city cooperative. So, that is one of, the, of our challenge or challenges here. We are trying to solve this because some of them do not know, he said. Dayap highlighted the challenge of some cooperatives not being members of the city cooperative, hindering their access to assistance while membership isn't mandatory. It facilitates supports from the LGU. Davao City Councilor has proposed establishment of the city's first ever public internet center. Councilor Voons Andre Militar, the chairperson of the Committee on Information System, barred plans for Dabo City's first public internet center, following a suggestion from Mayor Sebastian Baste Duterte. The proposed internet center would be an extension of the city library and information center, featuring 50 computers for research assignments and projects. Dabawenians can freely use the computer in Dabo City if they want to make assignments or grades, research, or train. He said during the Aprobado sa Consejo Media Forum on Thursday morning or Tuesday morning, April 24, 2024, at the Sangguniang Panglungsod. He said that Dabawenians can freely access the computers by becoming public library members for a fee of 50 pesos, serving as their ID for computer use. Additionally, the center will offer public Wi-Fi for those outside, accessible with personal devices. The State Weather Bureau announced that the intertropical convergence zone will bring cloudy skies scattered rain showers and thunderstorms to most parts of Mindanao, including the Davao region, on April 24, 2024. According to the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration, Pag-asa, Daily Bulletin Board, moderate to heavy rains and could lead to possible flash floods and landslides in Areas Dabao, South Cotabato, Sarangani, Sultan Kudarat, Basilan, Sulu, Tawi-Tawi, Sambuanga del Sur, and Sambuanga Sibugay. In Metro Manila and other parts of the country, partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers and or thunderstorms caused by the easterlies and localized thunderstorms may also bring potential floods or flash floods and landslides. Mm -hmm. 
National News. The Philippine National Police PNP Highway Patrol Group HPG has recovered two abandoned vehicles alleged, allegedly linked to the 1.4 ton shabu haul at, uh, in Alitagtag, Batangas. In a press conference on Thursday, April 25, 2024, PNP Chief and the Public Information Office PIO, Colonel Jean Pajardo said, the two vehicles, a black Toyota Land Cruiser and a white Ford Explorer, were recovered in San Luis, Pampanga on April 21, more or less 300 to 400 meters away from each other. Based sa investigation, ay ito pong black land cruiser na ito ay iniwan doon noong tanghali ng Abril 20. Bagamat binalikan ito ng gabi, rin noong araw na iyon, ay inilipat sa loob ng sementeryo. Samantalang, yung White Ford Explorer ay inilipat at iniwan naman doon sa unang pinagdalhan na lugar ng black land cruiser, she said. Senator Francis Escudero urged the Bureau of Investigation or BI on Thursday, April 25, 2024 to shed light on the reported increase of Chinese students in Cagayan region that has raised concern over national security, especially amid the ongoing territorial dispute between the Philippines and China. In a television interview, Escudero Chairperson of the Senate Committee on High, Higher Education said that in the event of a Senate investigation, the Bureau of Investigation should be the first agency to be summoned to explain its procedures in allowing the entry of Chinese nationals, especially students, in the country. He noted that while the Bureau of Investigation is being strict to the Filipino traveling abroad, they are being lenient with the entry of Chinese nationals. International News Police have arrested hundreds more protesters in locations across the U.S. as protests against the war in Gaza intensify across universities' campuses. Some 108 arrests were made at Emerson College, Boston Police told the BBC's U.S. partner CBS News. Earlier, 93 people at the University of Southern California, USC, in Los Angeles, were taken into custody on trespassing charges. Protester and police also clashed at University of Texas in Austin. Authorities said 34 people were arrested there too. Universities across the U.S. have seen a growing numbers of students walk out of class or try to set up encampment to protest against Israel's military campaign in Gaza. Many companies in Southern Indian city of Bingalara are offering a host of incentives from free food to taxi rides to people voting in general election. Located in Kartanaka State, Bingaluro is often in the news for its low voters turnout. So hotels, taxi services, and other firms have announced initiatives to encourage people to cast their ballots. This includes free beer, discounted car rides or cab rides, and even free health checkups. At some foods outlets, customers need to show their fingers stained with indelible, uh, indelible ink as proof they voted. The city is voting on Friday in round two of Indians or India's seven pace election. Entertainment news. In the first 
in our new cultural shifter series looking back at artworks that have had a major impact the novelist reflects on their uh, on his 2009 romance turned netflix phenomenon best-selling author david nichols is thought of by his fans as a master of the romantic comedy his new novel you are here is already receiving a rave reviews and will fly off the shelves however it's a much older work that readers typically want to talk to him about one day his 2009 book has been nudged back into the public conversation by the huge success of the 14-part netflix adaptation starring Ambika Mod and Leo Woodall, which premiered in February. People have sent me really lovely messages about watching it to the end and then going back and watching it from the beginning and again and treating it almost like a record that they love. Nikos tells the BBC, that's brilliant because it's very hard to put narrative pull into a love story it's very hard to find a way to keep people coming back because often the incidents are so small just looks or smiles and or argument they're not big events they're not murderers or explosions they are tiny and those actors manage to make the smallest things feel important and emotional Visitors on Thursday's plaque to Pasay for the Philippine Book Festival, PBF, that highlights the works of Filipino writers. The festival's dubbed as the largest traveling book festival in the country that celebrates Filipino literature is open to the public on April 25 to 28 from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Hosted by the National Book Development Board, the festival offers book at discounted prices and features talks, workshops, and activities from literary icons and celebrities. This year's iteration takes place during National Literature Month. On its second year, the, B the PBF promotes a culture of reading in the Philippines while developing the publishing industry in the country. Sports news. Alma Bicar was the main driver for the Chiri Tigo crossover as they zoomed towards the 2024 PBL All Filipino Conference semifinals, beating the gallery's towers high riser. The win secured the last coveted semis berth for Chiri Tigo in the 2024 PBL All Filipino Conference. Bicar named player and the game orchestrated the crossover's offense with 16 excellent sets. She also made four points for the three attacks and a block. The crossover extended their winning streak to seven games and will now set their sight on the round robin semifinals starting April 30, where they'll face of against powerhouse Chukumutso, Petrogas, and Cream Line. The Miami Heat caused an upset against the top seeded Boston Celtics to level their Eastern Conference playoff duel. Underdog Miami, who suffered a 20 point thrashing in the first game of the series, recovered to earn a 111 and 101 road victory the heat torched the celtics with 23 three points too shy and the nba playoff record everybody came to play said tyler hero who led the heat with 24 points we lost bad in a game one and everybody responded that's all 
you can ask for from a group of guys. Hero sank six three pointers and added 14 assists with all five hit starters posting double digit points. Featured stories, the winner of the year's national Borgo di Borgi competition blends its medieval past with an eye-catching contemporary art scene and wandering robots. For the last 11 years, Rai, Italy's state-owned television station, has held a contest to find second Borgo di Borgi or the village of villages. The competition helps to raise the visibility of small but captivating Italian towns that might otherwise go unnoticed. The winner of this year's competition, however, the purpose of the second Borgo di Borgi is identifying these place, places that I think sometimes even Italians don't know about. Kathy McHabe, the host of the Dream of Italy TV show, tells the BBC. Property giant Mega World is building a museum in Mactan, Cebu. In a statement released Thursday, Mega World said the Mactan World Museum will retell the story of Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan and his defeat against Philippine hero Lapu Lapu. The museum will also tackle the Manila galleon trade and feature collections, artifacts, replicas, mementos, and interactive virtual display on key historical events between the Philippines and Spain. For the side story, let's watch this.
for that trivia? Do you not know that Davao City offers a wide range of outdoor activities, including hiking, biking, and river tubing? Adventure seekers can explore the city's scenic landscape and enjoy thrilling experiences in a great outdoors. That's all our news for today. Please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell button for you to be updated of the Pinoy Rab News Channel. This is Gilbert Lopez Martihe Katso. Good morning.